I've always fancied myself as a bit of a naval commander, and now I can live my dream in virtual reality with Carrier Commander 2. This is from Microprose, a game company that was really big in the 1980s, brought us classics like F-19 Stealth Fighter and Pirates, and they've brought us this beautiful retro low poly simulation that combines real time strategy with first person perspective, either on your monitor or in virtual reality. We're trying it out in virtual reality. Let's get into it. Okay, folks, here we are on the bridge of our aircraft carrier. Uh, as you can see, we've got full locomotion. It doesn't support snap turning on the joystick, but you can do that with the buttons. Didn't have locomotion when it was first released quite the outcry from the community about that being included but you can see you can navigate all the way around the bridge all of these stations are completely interactable they actually control what the carrier is doing and you can also open these doors and you can walk out here see the wind noise has got up you can see the aircraft coming out of this uh, carrier you can go down these stairs you can actually go to different parts of the ship a bit when we get the right side of the door to do that you can go in here you can look around um, you can go down to where all the um, aircraft are stored it's uh, very impressive indeed but for now let's give you a little tour of the bridge ourselves back up this ladder okay so back on the bridge and the objective of the game is to take islands the islands have resources the resources come to your aircraft carrier so keep your ammunition going your fuel going we've just taken an island we're about to take the next um, so the first thing we need to do is jump onto the helm uh, albeit we could get the runway lights on that looks quite nice when you do that also helps you just identify the edge of the ship so uh, we're going to get ourselves off to the next island and take control of the helm and get ourselves moving see the waves are getting quite a bit more steep now because we're out in deeper ocean depths starting to see quite a bit of rocking going on on the on the aircraft carrier and we can see the next island that we're going to attack just in front of us up ahead there can be it's a bit like elite dangerous from the point of view that every everything happens in real time so there's quite intense stretches where there's quite a lot of action going on. You've got quite a lot of thing, uh, to think about. You've got quite a lot of multitasking to do. And then there's sort of quite peaceful bits where you're largely able to just enjoy the distinctly retro low poly graphics that the game has got. It's a, it's a nice contrast, actually. <laughs> Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to launch our aircraft out. We're going to start scouting out, uh, I think, A3. Yeah, get A3. A3 and A4 up in the air, I think. Get that deployed and that deployed. We've slowed the aircraft carrier down. We don't need to be in a rush to get there. We're going to use those aircraft, and you're going to see in a second that you can actually could remotely control these aircraft you can actually go in you can control them you can they've all got cameras on them you can start to mark 
enemies on there. You'll see the aircraft come up in a second. Let's get this map zoomed in. So you can control the aircraft on this map. You can, uh, you know, there's artificial intelligence that will c control them automatically. And then when you want to take over, because the AI predictably is, it's okay, it's functional, it's, it could be better, but you can take over and you can have a, you know, more precise target tracking or more precise in uh, laying down gunfire, dropping bombs, etc. So uh, typically what I do is get an automated flight path going and then intervene and jump in as and, as and when I feel the need to do that. So you can see just down here, if we pop out, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Our aircraft is about to take off. Nice. So she's up in the air. We can come back here and we can get that aircraft. We can create a flight path around the island so we can start to target all the ground troops and then we can use the carrier guns to start to target them and get the main gun up that will slow us down a little bit but that's okay we're not in a rush to get there uh, second aircraft's about to take off there she goes we can also get her flying a path around the island. The first one doesn't appear to be engaged yet, which is helpful. We're going to get both of these looping around the islands. We can use one to survey. And the other, we can start to lay down fire. Okay, so let's jump into this aircraft. Right, so here we are in the aircraft. We can see our island here off to the left. And I can go to gimbaled camera. I can go to manual control. And I can start to scout out any enemies that may or may not be lurking around on the island. Nothing immediately obvious to us just yet. And you constantly got to be thinking about multitasking, so easy to get absorbed and distracted into this and run your aircraft carrier inadvertently aground. Okay, there's nothing immediately obvious going on there. I'm going to remember to come out of these screens. Okay, we can see there is something there. Ooh. And this is the bit that's a little bit more frustrating about the game, is it's so easy to accidentally cancel your flight path when you don't mean to, when you're trying to actually trying to click on the aircraft. See our aircraft carrier just there below. All good on fuel at the moment. And where is the yeah, the base is on the far side there. So I think what we'll do is we'll spin ourselves around get ourselves on the far side of the island get our aircraft to 
attack, whatever that is. Hopefully we'll start to see a little bit more of what's going on. Probably need to start getting most of these aircraft back. Let's bring you home. Get you landed. You can actually see the aircraft come in and land. You can see we've just dominated from an air support perspective. This particular island didn't have aircraft. And as always, air superiority reigns supreme. We should be able to see this aircraft coming into land. You can see we've got a holding pattern for air traffic control up here. And there she is coming into land now on the deck. It's, I mean, it, it's uniquely immersive, this first person VR perspective, but with a real time strategy component going on with it as well. Again, see another aircraft in the holding pattern. So they're all coming home now. That is cool. Right, we're going to just take control of this guy. Right, manual control, vehicle control onto manual. There's nothing around that's particularly making us look concerned. So we'll deploy our virus bots. They're empty, a strange little spidery things we're near enough but these little things will drag those pods over there if they need to and uh, if we come back out of here zoom in on that you can see there's a bar now moving over and that bar will tell us uh, when we will have taken control of the island so no casualties um, we can bring all of our troops home so there we go guys, a Carrier Commander 2, a very funky retro game, it's lots and lots and lots of fun, it's still being iterated by the development team, they are being very active with the community, taking feedback in particular about some of the challenges with virtual reality, and they have been very responsive in sorting those problems out. For me, personally, it's great to see some really different looking games coming to market, it keeps things fresh and interesting, and I would highly recommend recommend that you try out Carrier Command 2. As always, I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.